All right, guys, so here's my next uh, quick tip. Um, I've been seeing online uh, people adding a second pressure washer to their existing trailer or truck, and they're like, uh, how are you guys hooking up that second uh, pressure washer? Um, so most pressure washers take about a one inch, you know, uh, supply. And so what I've been seeing is um, what I consider wrong configuration. Um, and I've seen more than one photo of it. So uh, even people that's building trailers, in my opinion, are doing it wrong. So uh, let me uh, turn the camera around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here's what uh, most of the photos have been showing uh, how people are hooking up two pressure washers. Here's your pump. Here's your pump. They're putting a, most pressure washers take an inch feed. So this is a hose. This is barb fittings. This is a one inch T. And this is a one inch, either a, a street 90 or a 90, of course, with a barb fitting. And one inch inlet. And here's your water tank. So this is what I've been seeing is they've been adding a T in an existing line shooting over the two uh, pumps. So um, some of you may not see the problem right here, but if you're feeding two one inch uh, pumps or you're feeding two one inch anything, your inlet to that T needs to be upsized. So, and also the problem with this is water and electricity are real similar. Um, they both want to take the path of least resistance. So, you got two five and a half gallon per minute pumps right here, all of them wanting a one inch column of water. Which one's going to get the most water? It's this one right here. Now, you may not see the difference. It might be, you might be starving this one here by 10%. You probably won't notice that. But where you'll notice it is, let's say that somebody hands you a one-inch hose and you start breathing through it. You're probably going to be just fine, but you're going to want more air. You know what I mean? It's not going to kill you. But after a while, you're going to be oxygen deprived. Um, so this is a, this is a problem so don't hook your system up this way this this needs at minimum be an inch and a quarter i would recommend an inch and a half right here inlet but this is not the way to plumb uh let, let's say these are pulling the exact uh gallons per minute this is this is no way uh th there should be a, a small header right here and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so here's the water tank. And here's your inch and a half coming out of your water tank. And it splits off, which is called a, a bull tee. So inch and a half coming in, inch coming off. A couple of 90s here uh, with the barb fitting. Inch going to that pump, inch going to this pump. Now, these pumps can pull independently and neither one will be starved. You see the difference? So basically you're, you're using virtually the same fittings, just putting them in a configuration that's different and adding your inlet to that fitting uh, being larger than your outputs. So if you cannot find a bull tee, now this is, I'm gonna show you here. Um, here's, here's a bull tee. This one happens to be an inch and a half by inch by inch. This would be perfect. This is, this is a, so when you're looking that up, it's a bull tee. Now, if you can't find a bull tee and you have, a, this, the second way of doing it is just as good. And I'm gonna show you. So, Let's say that you cannot find that bull T that I just showed you. So you would take an inch and a half T 
and you would put a inch and a half by inch bushing right here, inch and a half by inch bushing coming off like so. So you've made a, a header out of it. And now you're gonna pull to both pumps evenly. So this is the right way of doing it. Now, people are getting by, it seems to be people are getting by just fine with this. But if you're starving a pump 10, 15, 20%, you may not realize that, but that's putting stress on your pump. You don't know it, but uh, anyway, so if, if possible, hook it up like that. Okay, so here's another thing that I see. Even these builders, they're using DWV fit, uh, fittings on a lot of this stuff. Um, drain waste and vent. Uh, one is it has a small uh, glue surface. Um, and two is like T's and Y's are directional. So don't use any DWV fittings, especially on any water supplies, uh, use pressure fittings. And um, so anyway, so this is the right way of doing it. Um, probably both will work. This will definitely work better. All right, so there's your little plumbing uh, tip of the day. And uh, so if you like my videos, please subscribe, share them, uh, leave a comment at the bottom. And until next time, you guys take care.